Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump ending it for all non-citizens. Panicked illegals deporting themselves in droves. America wins. Progressive leftists consistently cite Americans as lacking compassion if they do not support illegal immigration and open borders policies. On the contrary, most Americans do not have an issue with immigration at all. The issue lies in whether they have chosen to jump our borders in defiance of U.S. immigration laws or if they have chosen to go through legal channels. Illegal aliens utilize benefits paid for with the tax dollars taken from hardworking American citizens and intended for the use of American citizens. Yet people who have never paid into the system are partaking of the benefits. Leftists will argue that illegal aliens do not qualify for welfare, yet the facts do not lie. In a shocking new report from the Migration Policy Institute, it reveals that American taxpayer-funded welfare is used by 10.3 million non-citizens. More than half of all non-citizen children and teens in the United States are receiving taxpayer-funded welfare, mostly Medicaid, while nearly half of all non-citizen adults legally in the country are on welfare. That is a staggering 54% of teens and children receiving some form of public welfare and nearly half of adults. The Census Bureau charted the growth and the use of taxpayer-funded programs for financially poor new immigrants and found the biggest rise in the use of welfare, roughly triple over the last 10 years. According to an analysis by the Center for Immigration Studies, the use of Medicaid by immigrants has gone up nearly as much. According to the Migration Policy Institute Ash. In a just-released study of welfare use by U.S.-born Americans, naturalized citizens and non-citizen aliens, the Migration Policy Institute found that of the 22 million non-citizens in the country, 10.3 million are on at least one welfare program. The report said that 54.2 percent of children and teens up to age 17 receive at least one of four major public welfare benefits while it's 46.3 percent for those aged 18 to 54 and 47.8 for older aliens. By comparison, 32 percent of the U.S.-born population of 270 million receive some welfare. Of those, 45.8 percent are children and teens. 30% are aged 18 to 54 and 22.5% are age 55 and older. According to the Washington Examiner, the report is a warning that the current Trump administration is following through with its campaign promises regarding immigration. New rules are being considered making it significantly more difficult for illegal aliens to receive a green card if they or one of their dependents are receiving Medicaid, cash welfare, food stamps, and or Social Security benefits. MPI also revealed the Trump administration is considering changes in the standard for when receipt of public benefits can be used as grounds for the deportation of legally present non-citizens. MPI states of the report's significant key findings are, based on the experience of the 1990s immigration and welfare reforms, it is reasonable to expect that the rule will discourage millions of immigrants from accessing health, nutrition, and social services. These chilling effects are likely to stretch beyond immigrants themselves to affect U.S. citizen children whose parents may disenroll them from services for fear of immigration consequences. These impacts are likely to weigh most heavily on states with large immigrant populations and those with inclusive public benefit policies, such as California and New York. Further estimating the new draft proposed rules could and likely will significantly reshape future legal immigration as it will give the Trump administration as well as that of future administrations broad discretion to deny a much larger share of applications from prospective immigrants as well as those already currently residing within U.S. borders who are seeking a green card. MPI estimates that the law would have a chilling effect on immigration and thereby cut welfare used by aliens significantly. According to the report, Although it is difficult to estimate precisely how many people would alter their behavior in response to the proposed change in public chart policy, if immigrants' use patterns were to follow those observed during the late 1990s there could be a decline of between 20 percent and 60 percent, and that even some members of groups exempt from the new rule, for example refugees, would likely withdraw from public programs. The Washington Examiner also reports. Stephen Camarota, the center's director of research and the study's lead author, highlighted those two census data points in noting that it has happened despite the increase in education levels for immigrants. He also found that new immigrants are twice as likely to live in poverty as native-born Americans. According to a report entitled Better Educated, but Not Better Off from Stephen Camarota, Director of Research for the Center for Immigration Studies Dash. The share of new immigrants in poverty was slightly higher in 2017 than in 2007, and the gap with natives widened slightly. Overall, new immigrants remain twice as likely to live in poverty as natives. In 2007, 6% of new immigrants were on Medicaid, 
by 2017 it was 17 percent, an 11 percentage point increase. The share of natives on Medicaid increased from 7 percent to 13 percent, a 6 percentage point increase. New immigrants are now more likely to use the program than natives. The share of new immigrants living in households receiving food stamps roughly tripled from 4 percent to 13 percent from 2007 to 2017. Among natives, food stamp use also increased, but not as much, from about 6 percent to 10 percent. New immigrants are now more likely to live in a household on food stamps. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.